day. Welcome to Lawyer Up by NDV Law. This is Attorney Nikki De Vega, Managing Partner of Nicolas and De Vega Law Offices. In today's video, I will talk about what an employee in the Philippines, Philippines will receive when he resigns from his work. Parting is indeed such a sweet sorrow. For some, resigning from work is a sad event, while for others, it is a release from bondage. Whatever the reason may be, the question looming in an employee's mind is, what would I get when I resign? The Philippine Supreme Court defined resignation as the voluntary act of an employee who is in a situation where one believes that personal reasons cannot be sacrificed in favor of the exigency of the service and one has no other choice but to dissociate oneself from employment. Since this is a voluntary act on the part of the employee, the employer cannot be charged with the obligation to give more than what is required by law. Thus, under the law, an employee who resigned is entitled to his final pay for work rendered, prorated 13-month pay, and the monetization of his unused service incentive leads. It is often asked if an employee who resigned is entitled to separation pay. The answer is a resounding no. In numerous decisions by the, Labor, uh, by the Supreme Court, it has been enunciated that there is no provision in the Labor Code granting separation pay to voluntarily resigning employees. Separation pay may be awarded only in cases when the termination of employment is due to 1. Installation of labor-saving devices 2. Redundancy 3. Retrenchment 4. Closure or cessation of business operation not due to losses 5. Disease of an employee and his continued employment is actually prejudicial to himself or his co-employees 6. When an employee is illegally dismissed, but reinstatement is no longer feasible. 7. When it is sanctioned by established employer practice of policy. Additionally, in, a, in the Supreme Court case, the Supreme Court held that although separation pay need not be paid to an employee who voluntarily resigns, however, an employer who agreed to expend such benefit as an incident of the resignation should not be allowed to renege on the fulfillment of such commitment. In short, if the resignation was motivated by a promise of the employer of the grant of benefits and or separation pay, then such pay must be given. However, the general rule still stands. An employee who resigned is not entitled to separation pay. Thus, it is actually best to think hard and weigh the pros and cons before tendering that letter of resignation. So, what will an employee receive when he resigns? Final pay for work rendered, prorated 13-month pay, and a new service incentive leads. Of course, if there's a tax refund, then a tax refund must be given. But that is all. Well, if this video has been helpful, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. You can also visit our website, ndvlaw.com, to learn more about legal matters in the Philippines. Again, this is Attorney Nikki De Vega of Nicolas and De Vega Law Offices. And thank you for watching Lawyer Up by NDV Law.